Hey, Chuck Schumann here with Oxmoor Toyota. We have the 2021 XSE RAV4 Prime. And what we're gonna do today is uh, drive this a little bit. We're gonna show you the different drive modes, some of the cool features on the inside. We let it charge a little bit overnight, didn't get the full 12 hours, but we're gonna have some fun with this thing. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, so we have some different drive modes that are available on the RAV4 Prime, and that's all controlled right here. So the different drive modes you can have, you can be in EV mode, so EV is the electric uh, motor only. And so that's the ideal way to drive the uh, RAV4 Prime. That's what it was designed for. You can get up to 42 miles on just the electric battery with the full charge. And what's cool about that is most people's commute, their daily commute's less than 20 miles. So you charge this thing overnight, it's cheaper than putting gas in the car, and you can drive to work and back and never have to use any fuel. So it's a great way to do that. But the other thing you get with this, not just the electric engine, but you get the gas. So you also have range. So you're not limited to two, like 300 at the max if you want to pay you know, a premium for an all electric vehicle. What this can do, if you do the math on the, uh, what they're estimating the EPA uh, miles per gallon and the range and all of that, you're getting probably close to 600 mile range on this thing. You can drive this to the coast for vacation and never have to fuel up, which is just awesome. And you can't do that in a uh, all electric vehicle, but for your daily commute, you're getting that all electric gas saving fuel efficiency. So you can do, if you see right here, this is showing me I'm in EV mode. So this is all electric. You can also do HV mode. So this is what you're used to if you have a uh, hybrid right now from Toyota. This is where it chooses for you to use the electric or the uh, gas engine to drive the car. So it's gonna be based on the driving conditions, charge, uh, all kinds of different situations, but the car decides for you. Now, when you have both going, the uh, gasoline and the electric engine, you can also force it into sport mode. You see how it turned red there, HV, sport. So now what this is gonna do is engage both engines when you drive to give you more power. So this is how you reach that 302 combined horsepower on this vehicle, which again is second only to the uh, Supra as far as a zero to 60 takeoff. The other thing that you can do on here, I will show you. I'm gonna go back to normal. And then the auto EV hybrid, this again will decide for you where you send that uh, power from the gasoline engine or um, the uh, electric engine as well. And then the last one that you can do, I'm gonna hold this and you see it just switched to charge mode. So what charge mode does is that forces the gasoline engine. So that's all you're using. And that's actually going to send power back. So that is going to charge that electric engine for you so that you can uh, increase the range available on that as well using the gasoline engine. So there's so many different ways to do this. What we're going to do is go for a little drive and show you what your morning commute would look like if you were using the EV mode. So we've got the air on. I've switched it to EV. You just heard the gas engine cut off. And we're going to take off and hop on the waters in here. So this is the XSE, and you'll notice up here on the screen, we have a map that's following us. That little uh, cursor is going to follow us, the little arrow there. So this is the built-in navigation. Um, you can have it be the full map as well. You also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto if you prefer to use the navigation uh, in those two systems, depending on which mobile phone you have. So I'm going to get around this car here. And so this is the uh, top of the line um, radio entertainment unit that you have here. When you pair your phone, all your Bluetooth pops up, hands-free calling, and then the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is a really cool feature that's available um, on this vehicle. You also have your Safety Connect, so you're different. Uh, you can contact emergency services if you need that, if the car were to be stolen, if you were to get in an accident where an airbag deployed. You will also have uh, assistance in that as well with the SOS Connect. You have that for a one-year trial from Toyota. And I want to point out I'm in EV mode. Now, if you're used to a hybrid vehicle, by this point with my air on and I'm driving, I was above 25 miles an hour, it would have kicked over to the um, gasoline engine at some point already because the hybrid vehicle goes back and forth. You can force the Prius or the uh, hybrid you know, RAV4, Camry, Corolla, uh, Highlander, the Venza, Sienna, you can force those into EV mode, but it doesn't have as large of an electric motor as this vehicle does in the Prime. And so you are limited in your range. It's about a mile and about 25 miles an hour is the max you can do on those. So you can force EV mode, but it's very specific driving. This is for your everyday commute. So if you live off of Shelbyville Road and you're going up to Watterson uh, to get on you know, Westport or Brownsboro, 
you can stay in that EV mode with an appropriate charge. So I'm gonna go and we're gonna get on the Waterson here. And what I'm noticing when I'm driving is there's no hesitation. It picks up, when I give it some gas, it's responding, there's no, you know, kind of waiting for it to build up speed. It's just ready to go, it just performs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's still in EV mode. I've got it set to that and we are up to 50. I'm gonna merge with traffic here and I'm using no gasoline. Oh, it's at above $3 a gallon right now. I don't wanna use gas for my, you know, two mile commute that I do to work every day in this example. I'm probably going a little bit too fast, but I wanted to get around those cars and show you. We got up to 75 miles an hour and I'm using just the electric engine in a hybrid vehicle. This is pretty cool. And we weren't able to charge it the full, you know, 12 hours overnight like it recommends. I'm only at about a half a charge and this is doing great. The dial's not dropping. I mean, this is fantastic. And then I'm able to exit here and we're going to turn around. I want to see how it performs when I switch this and we go over into the, uh, we're going to force it into the dual HV mode with sport. I want to see how this feels. I love that graphic there where you can see the streaks of red and it made the speedometer there uh, a bright red. Just a cool big graphic right there. I also wanted to point out the radio that you see here. That is a nine inch uh, screen. So it's a nice, uh, big, easy to see. Um, this is tuned with JBL speakers, uh, great sound quality. Uh, I'm not gonna blast you know, my uh, music here for you all today, but we're just all about how this car performs. So down here, you'll notice that uh, here's, there's two levels that you can see, so fuel, and then down here is your battery charge. So it actually shows you uh, how much charge you have in your battery. Um, and then you would get indicators if we got too low and weren't able to be in EV mode like we were when we got here. But we're about 50% there um, on that charge. And we just plugged it in a little bit uh, yesterday afternoon and then unplugged it uh, and didn't let it run overnight. Um, but here we go. So we're gonna be in the full. So it's using the gas and the electric engine. Oh. I'll let him go. I'm not going to be too aggressive in this thing. But man, yeah, there's a difference there. That is fun. So this, what it's doing now is it's using the gasoline engine and the electric engine at the exact same time to give us maximum power. This is also an all-wheel drive. I'd like to point out um, in some of the forums I've seen, the Escape uh, has a tiny bit, their uh, all-electric Escape has a tiny bit more miles per gallon E um, but it, it's a front wheel drive. This is an all wheel drive, so I'm having all four wheels engaged. Both engines, this thing performs. This is a fun little, I hope we don't get a ticket, but it was worth it right here. We were being safe. Yeah, that thing, that is some, sorry to my cameraman here, Kenny. I don't mean to have you sliding everywhere back there. Man, I wanna drive this more. Yeah, in that mode, that did not feel like driving a RAV4. That was, we're in sport mode with the uh, hybrid, uh, the HV uh, mode there, um, where it's using both the electric and the gas engine at the same time. And I'm gonna push it back to normal. And then we're back in EV mode. So it stopped using the gas engine. I'm back to all electric. And I'm still up at speed, you know, I could go another, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles, whatever we were at 50% if it's 42. It's kind of the max on that. 
I mean, anywhere in Louisville, this is going to get you to your job if you got a full charge. And that's a great thing. That's a lot of uh, the electric cars. I think are made for uh, cities, like where you're going to be going, just in downtown, moving around, not a lot of space. This is for where we kind of have that sprawl, where you can go, you know, from Dixie Highway out to Crestwood, and you can do that in this with a full charge and never have to use any gas, which is just an awesome thing. But then in the same token, you can get on the highway and head to the Outer Banks and be on vacation with this car and not have to stop and charge for 40 minutes in your all-electric vehicle. This is just a cool car, man. Okay, so they made it very simple to charge this overnight. So you park in your garage, near your house, and what they give you is a little outlet here. And so if you know where a charging station is. You don't have to put a charging station in your house. If you go to one of the charging stations, they have a bunch of them all over the city. It's gonna charge us a little bit quicker. I think it's like four and a half hours to get a full charge if you're using the bigger outlet at one of those charging stations. But at your house, all you have to do is plug this in. If you see, it's a little three prong outlet there. You plug it in, any wall outlet. And then this door here pops open have a little cap here which you can hang out of the way plug that in and it lights up green it is charging you just do that you know at night before you go to bed let it charge overnight and then you're commuting to work all electric uh, battery not using any gas but still having that range for family vacation if you need it great work car great family car just a great car overall And that's the brand new XSE RAV4 Prime. If you have any questions, you want to schedule a test drive, go to oxmoortoyota.com or give us a call at 502-214-7085.